I mean, Vivian was designing, her main aim was to impress. She had an incredible sense of style and she lived what she designed, she wore it. We talked about maybe selling the clothes for an auction and raising money towards courses which were close to her. She would spend sometimes days in bed reading the last decades, especially about the state of the world. The sale, it's something she would be very, very happy about because you are um, making use of something, not wasted. The earliest piece in the sale is from the Witches Collection, 83. Very unusual suit. You could just put it in the waist, or change the length, and you know, play with it. It was an important aspect of her clothing. We are offering her very private clothing. She was a very active woman, and uh, she cycled every day. And then, of course, there are all these dresses she wore on certain occasions, or when we were invited somewhere, or we can went to the theater. She would carry her high heel shoes in a basket in front of the bike and uh, would park right in front of Covent Garden, the Royal Opera House. And so everybody would see it as well. And uh, she'll take out her you know, high heels and put them on right in the middle of the plaza, kind of. She loved these shoes. She really did. Even in the 70s, she would do T-shirts where she writes a letter on and about something she was bothered about or thought needs to be changed. It was a very direct way of communicating. She always thought that you only will have some really original ideas through looking at the past, through art and culture. And so it's just an endless pool of where you can draw from. The corset is the best example. She looked at a you know, very classical construction of something, but gave it this twist. It has a zip up the back. You don't need to lace it up. And it has a stretch side panels, but it has this um, 18th century you know, construction, really. This is a Cinderella dress. It's very heavily inspired by the ballet, really. She loved ballet. She wore this dress so much and so often that it actually ripped. She mended and wore it till it literally fell apart. She wore everything forever and ever. Tailoring in general was always the base of every collection. I think that's where the real Englishness comes through. And there are loads of suits in the sale. But the one which I think she has worn more than anything in her absolute life, we call it an alcoholic suit. It's a cutting technique. It's a bit the inspiration where a tailor is drunk and it all goes a bit wrong. She always liked that things had a story behind. We did unisex and nobody did unisex then and there. And I think she had no difference between designing for women and for men. She wanted to achieve just the same, making them look great, making them look important, making them look sexy, intelligent. She always, you know, described her clothes as heroic. It is an emotional uh, experience or journey. It's so unbelievably impressive, the range of her work. It's just so rich, so full of different um, interests, journeys she has taken. She was a genius. <laughs>